Hey guys, as I film this, it is now Sunday, May 7th, 2.45 a.m. Uh, yesterday, last night, actually, 7-10 game between the Reds and the San Francisco Giants. I went, it was Star Wars night, so we got a free Star Wars t-shirt, and the Reds Hall of Fame magazine was also giving away its second bobblehead, or technically its third bobblehead of its 2017 series, and I will unbox that for you. But before I get to that, I'm going to show you some stuff that my mom got, to, uh, got for me. She was visiting some family we have in some family we have in Japan, and she brought back some souvenirs from the baseball team known as the. Let me look it up here, the uh, Yomiuri Giants. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct, but the team uh, that's how it looks like online. It's the Yomiuri Giants, and she got me this really cool banner. Um, you can see they have the same colors as the San Francisco Giants, same font and everything, but they are the Yomiuri Giants. And you can see it's a autograph banner. You can see all the signatures on there. It looks really cool. And then she also got me the autograph of one of their players. Uh, it's Tomi Tomoyuki Sugano, right there. Tomoyuki Sugano. Uh, apparently, she asked uh, the guy in the team shop there. I think they play in the Tokyo Dome or close to it or something or maybe it's not so good, I'm not sure, but she asked the guy in the shop, wherever that it was, who the best player was, and he said it was Sugano, so she got me this autographed baseball of Sugano, you can see the signature right there, and the back has uh, a the Giants logo, and then another Giants logo, and that autograph looks really good. Uh, the banner and the baseball are both added on the autographs page on my website, so check that out. And as I said, Speaking of the, San, of the Giants, the Reds played the San Francisco Giants tonight and absolutely destroyed them. Um, it was a great night to be a Reds fan. Uh, they won 14-2, absolutely smashed them. And the previous night, Friday, they won 13-3. So the two past two games, they've outscored the Giants 27-5, which is, uh, for me, being a diehard Reds fan, that's awesome. Um, I love seeing that, and hopefully they continue to do that throughout the rest of the year. But it was uh, Star Wars night, and here is the free shirt we got. It says Cincinnati, and has a Stormtrooper helmet on there. And you can see it says Star Wars um, underneath the helmet. And then on the sleeve, it has the Reds logo. Um, nice, get a better view of that. You can kind of see it, the Reds logo, and then it says Home Team, and Kroger right there, they are the sponsor. Kroger was the sponsor of the shirt, but yeah, really cool shirt, um, Cincinnati, Star Wars, Stormtrooper helmet. I am a Star Wars fan, and May 4th, Star Wars Day, I had nothing to wear for Star Wars Day, because I don't have any Star Wars clothes, but next year, I'm gonna wear that Star Wars Cincinnati Red shirt, uh, show my love for the franchise, uh, the Star Wars franchise and the Red franchise at the same time. So really cool shirt. And then, as I said, it was also the, the second or the third bobblehead given away by the Reds Hall of Fame Museum this year. It is of Tommy Helms. So, without any further ado, let's unbox this thing and see how it looks. Uh, you can see the bobblehead on the front of the box right there. There is Tommy Helms, and it's got the Reds Hall of Fame Museum logo in the top corner. Uh, red background. You can see the different years in the back behind Tommy. And then on this side, we have his Reds Hall of Fame and Museum plaque, as well as what his signature looks like. And the back has, of course, all the benefits of becoming a Reds Hall of Fame and Museum member. And on this side, we have a picture of Tommy Helms, as well as a little bit about his career. Uh, the bottom, just plain blue, the top says Dinsmore, as it does with every Reds Hall of Fame and Museum bobblehead. And in the box, they include a little pamphlet about the Pete Rose hit collection thing they have going on. Um, so I guess you can buy a hit of Pete Rose's um, career. And you get, it looks like, a baseball, a picture, and a certificate of ownership saying that you own that hit. And your name gets to go up on some wall inside the Reds Hall of Fame. Pretty cool idea, I think. Um, with all the hits Pete Rose got, there's bound to be a lot of hits available to buy. And this bobblehead is packaged in styrofoam. I like seeing that. I don't like the mess it makes, but you know, it's worth it as long as the bobblehead is protected. So I'm fine with that. And uh, 
it looks like the styrofoam is taped together. It was really easy to get out of the box. Usually they're in there pretty tight. So let me take it out of the styrofoam and take it out of the little plastic baggie that it is in. And we'll get down to it. I'll show you what Tommy Nose looks like in bobblehead form. Alright. Very nice looking bobblehead right here. Alright, so here is Tommy Helms in his bobblehead form. You can see the bobble, uh, the head is shaking like crazy. You got the uh, classic green bill under his hat. Plain white uh, home uniform of the Reds. Um, he's got the red, uh, the red stirrups and the white socks. Black shoes. The top of the base says Reds Hall of Fame. Uh, the Dinsmore sponsorship plaque is right there. The red border on the base with the white uh, white letters spell out his name. Uh, the back of the bobblehead has his name in red with his number. Let me see his glove on this hand. Looks like he's coming out into the field or getting ready to approach a ball or something. And yeah, really good looking bobblehead of Tommy Helms. Uh, fan favorite during his time here in Cincinnati. I think he was a rookie of the year winner. And then he was eventually traded to the Houston Astros for uh, some guy named Joe Morgan. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of him. But uh, yeah, so the Reds got a really good deal trading Helms. And I think it was uh, Lee May to the Astros. And they got, in return, they got Joe Morgan. And I want to say Cesar Geronimo and a couple of other guys who were instrumental in turning that big red machine team into World Series champs in 75 and in 76. But Tommy Helms, as I said, fan favorite during his time with the Reds and it's cool that they finally released a bobblehead of him and it looks really good and yeah you'll see this bobblehead on the bobblehead page on my website at cincyfanzone.blogspot.com I've linked to that website in the description below so please feel free to check it out I have photos from tonight's Star Wars game up there there's a lot of cool stuff they had going on for Star Wars night so check it out um, the bobblehead is on the bobblehead page there's autographs on the autograph page and at right weekly blog post for it Every video on my YouTube channel is over there as well, so please feel free to check it out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.